Hello YouTube, this is Awesome Airplanes 2.0. We are now in GeoFS, which is an online flight simulator. I hope this is this is my voice. This is a voice reveal as well. So in this video I am going to be showing the proper landing and takeoff procedure on the aircraft carrier USS C. John Stennis, I believe. I don't know what it is, hold on. The USS John C. Stennis, the aircraft carrier in GOFS. So I'm going to be showing you uh, what I think is the proper takeoff procedure and landing procedure at this airport. So let's go. So for takeoff, what I always do is um, flaps 2, that setting right there, on, yes, and then... I let go of my brakes and I just put full throttle. Then I try to align properly. And um, the FPS is kind of bad because my computer is recording right now. And I'm running GeoFS at a higher frame rate than normal. Then I retract the flaps to actually gain some airspeed. To, to flaps one so I can gain some airspeed and improve my lower speed performance and then after like hitting 80 knots I pull them fully in and I level out a little bit then I I would continue with my normal flight um, that's that's pretty much it with the de Havilland DHC-6 Twin Otter which is a stall aircraft which doesn't need like very little runway it needs very little runway to take off and land, so this was for this particular aircraft. Um, I'll show you the same thing with like a different aircraft. I'll be back. Uh, so now we are in a CRJ-700 on the same carrier. Um, it, it is possible to take off in this aircraft if you're skilled enough. So what I do right now is flaps 2. And I did lower my graphics, just to improve performance. So then I just again hit full throttle, then start rolling. And this is a fairly quickly accelerating aircraft and doesn't require too much of a runway to take off. This should be fairly successful. So what I do is I, oh, we hit the ground on that one. Let's uh, try that again. <laughs> So then let's try, then I, I, yeah, I'm going to try flaps one this time just to gain more speed much quickly and uh, hold on. Okay, so we are at flaps one. Let's attempt to use the entire carrier right now just because we do that. I don't know why, but that's the rule. We hammer throttle and nice. So I'm going to attempt to take off successfully. Again, disclaimer, I am not the proest pilot, if that's even a word. But again, then, again, we have hit the ground, so I'm just going to bail on this one because that's what I do. And I don't know what that was. Um, what's happening? Help me. Um, okay, so I'm going to switch aircraft. A slightly smaller one to a E190, the Aero Mexico livery. Okay, so let's try that again. Flaps one. And using the entire runway, or the carrier in this case. Where's the rest? and full power right before running off the edge and dying this is this accelerates a lot more quickly when my brakes out this should work hopefully oh no 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 come on yeah no we didn't do it so in real life we would have anyway died because this this game doesn't perfectly simulate like every animation that happens but then, I mean, a little 
bump to the gear shouldn't be in a, should be in, shouldn't really be good for the landing gear. So this time I'm gonna try flaps two um, for this aircraft because more flaps means you can fly slower before just dropping like a stone. Let's again use the entire runway because we need that. Just a little more backup power. A little bit more. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Okay, never mind. That is working perfectly. Okay, so now I will attempt takeoff again. So here, here we go. B. My computer is actually dying from recording this game at a even at a rather low resolution. Oh, that okay. There it goes. So we need to keep the flaps out. I forgot about that. But then, uh, obviously, you kind of need to keep your descent, your pitch angle, a lot lower because we were just pitching at a twenty degree pitch, and we didn't have we did have a airspeed quite low and. A, a weird descent and descent rate, so I decided to keep the gear up for a longer time. Then we can reduce throttle, say by a lot, because we're starting to overspeed. Uh, maybe those spoilers. Okay, so you could actually um, fly to San Francisco International Airport from this carrier, at least from where it's positioned. You can see the runways right there. I do this sometimes, but then for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to say that. You can take off from the carrier with this airplane, but then you will not be getting, you, you could again, then you could take off from there and you probably wouldn't be able to land an airplane unless it's like a real, it's like a general aviation or the DHC-6 or something like that because that's how physics work. So uh, now I'll get started with the landing procedure. So yeah, we are now on approach. I actually did not take off and loop back around what I just did was go to the approaches and just selected this the carrier because I'm too lazy to actually take off and do it so I don't know why I'm in a Canadian Air Force livery but it looks nice so I chose it in real life this wouldn't be happening disclaimer so what I would do is I would as I spawn in I would re retract I mean pull down my flaps to like flaps 3 so I actually start losing some speed. So the DHC-6 is minimum airspeed before it like drops like a stone. It's 60 knots. We are at 80 knots. I'm gonna, uh, just because I don't want to stall out, I'm going to increase my airspeed, just like attempt to. Oh yeah, I'm already increasing, so I'm gonna keep it just at 20% power. Or like 15% in this case, as it shows on the control panel. So uh, as I'm on approach right now, I would turn on my parking brake by pressing the semicolon key because that actually like activates it permanently as long as you like as as long as it, you, you press it down then it, it turns on your parking brake, which I just always do. That's just more convenient for me than pressing down the space bar or whatever the actual control is. Okay, so then I would reduce my throttle, reverse thrust, then rudder. Well, that technically, okay, I think that's going to be an overrun. Let's hope it's not, actually. No, no, that's an overrun. No, overrun. Rest in peace, me. Did I actually do all full? Yeah, I, I did full reverse thrust. That was probably on me because I, I touched down very late. So uh, let's check the replay. So uh, I'm on short final right now. And um, so you can see kind of how late I touched down. That is not how you touch down on a carrier for landing any sort of airplane. I was actually kind of hoping it, it would stop because this is a stole aircraft, but then this carrier is like a thousand feet long and you stop maybe like 25 feet down. I'm pretty sure no runway in the world is actually that short. 
at least as far as I I know. Uh, let's just tr try that again because I really actually want to try landing this. So I'll be back. Hold on. So right now I am again on short final. Parking brakes are set to max. If that's even a thing in this game. I'm lowering my flaps. And the good thing about this is you can actually come in pretty low because the way this plane was designed, it was designed to uh, take like um, a steeper uh, descent pitch, if that's a thing. Um, because this, this plane actually operates at a lot of airports like St. Bartholomew and Lucla Airport, which require steep descent angles. And why am I turning my parking brake off? And I'm going to be losing airspeed very quickly right now. So coming in at 80 knots of airspeed, which is plenty to be able to stop on this carrier, which is because I've done this before. So we are a bit high, high in altitude, not in the weird way. So again, I touched down very late, but then because we do have more flaps, we, sh we should be able to stop, I hope. See, let's see. No, we're not gonna make it. We're not. We're not. We're not making it. Wait, did we just make it? Hey, yay! We we made it. Nice. Okay, I should probably stop doing that. So now that we have stopped successfully, although after landing, very late. Hold on. Yeah. So uh, now we can pretty much taxi to uh, one of those places where it's like marked off I guess so reverse thrust we're pushing back uh, in a way that has been out of protocol since the 80s I don't know why but that's just the rule so we are taxiing backwards right now let's let's uh let's set so turning brakes a little so I can actually slow down this is gonna be a terrible parking I like a weird parking but then I'm not the best parker because I don't do this much and stop let's see if we actually struck that thing we actually have not struck anything so our passengers are safe and probably a little shaken up from uh, that landing because we have to swerve a little <laughs> This is actually not the only aircraft that can land here. Um, and actually an Antonov AN-140 can land here if you if you try and you land firmly. So uh, let's, let's try that because why not. So uh, we are now in an Antonov AN-140, which happens to be probably the slowest airliner, quote unquote, in this game. So then I retract the gear because it actually has this feature. It's... It's again a Ukrainian plane by Antonov. So, uh, and then flaps full, parking brakes max, half, thrott half throttle. Yeah, that, that should work out just fine. And this does take a few attempts to get this right because if you come in too low, the engines usually don't provide you with enough thrust. You you actually have spoilers on this plane, but then they don't show on the playback. I mean the animation, sorry. So that was a very hard landing, at least for the landing gear. We may you may need replacements of it later. But uh it doesn't work sometimes, so uh I actually have a YouTube video that shows it, so I'm just gonna do that because I'm I don't wanna do it again, so here it is. So this is when I actually managed to get this to actually work once. Um, I don't know why my computer is refusing to work. But here it is. I have actually managed to stop an airliner, at least as far as I know, on the carrier. Let me try to get this fast because I'm running out of recording time. Yeah, that was pretty much a very successful stop. 
that was successful thank you for watching and remember to